Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my channel uh, Windows Form and uh, Win WinForm Tutorials. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fetch all database which is exist in a particular accounts of your SQL Server data server. Uh, okay, so uh, how to do this? So first of all, uh, we uh, we need we have to need um, three things uh, to connect uh, to the servers. So first of all, connect to the servers. So give the name to the servers or you can say the data source name and after that you can provide the connecting um, connection strings so there is uh, two other things is required that is uh, username and the passwords so username and the password is the credentials uh, for your database uh, if you are working with your uh, um, uh, credential environments if you are working with the uh, windows environment there is no need to uh, connect uh, or you can say provide the username and the passwords uh, there is uh, one thing is um, uh, working that is um, like the integrated security is true integrated security is true it means the windows security provided to your server so the basic thing says there after that uh, the connection is the similar with your uh, server so first of all check your mm, text box names uh, server text box username text box and all the particulars are provided it here so mm, provide uh, you can set uh, static properties of your username passwords and uh, uh, server name so you can do this it's a easy form and after that one by one database retrieved uh, into your list box so and the things is thus uh, easy uh, if you want to do this so there is no other references uh, to use and to fetch the data from the uh, from uh, fetch the database name uh, from sql server there is no need to any references okay so uh, the only thing you uh, you have to learn about uh, sql server that is the dql queries and uh, uh, SQL connection class, SQL command class, and so on. The basic things you you need to learn. Okay, so the SQL connection class is to connect the database, uh, is to connect to the server. So provide the connections. So provide the connection username and passwords and the data source name. So need the server name, username, and the passwords. To connect to the server only if you want to fetch all the database names uh, which is exist in uh, which is exist with the master table which is exist with the master uh, uh, master database so uh, the first thing is to connect to the sql server class uh, sql connection class and after that you can apply the sql command class after uh, after that apply the sql command class you want to retrieve all the database names so use the dql query select like after that you can retrieve all the database name by using the sql command uh, text or you can say sql command command you can pick all the data base uh, using the sql data adapter and push to the data sets and the data set is working offline you know very well so you can retrieve these database name in other form as well okay so uh, in the connection string you can check uh, the data source is the server name user id is the username password is the passwords okay now in the try catch block you can assign the connection state is the open you know very well about uh, because the lots of video provided on your uh, on your uh, for your channel uh, for your uh, uh, tutorial I will pro uh, I was provide uh, lots of video on SQL uh, connection commands and adapters and data sets okay so uh, today uh, I am going to show you the SQL uh, DQL queries uh, SQL command CMD equals to new SQL command select here we can use the DB dot name okay the database name as db name from master table okay so dot s 
system dot database as a db you can use these things to retrieve all the database names by using getting all the database name uh, by using this query select db name as D, um, db name from master sys database name as db you can retrieve all the database names and after that by using sql data adapter you can push these database into the data set after that you can close your connection because all the database name exist in the data set if anything happening, if anything wrong, then push uh, the exception from the try uh, block into the catch block. So give the proper error message, ex dot message. If the connection state is valid, then proper um, message uh, uh, shown on your windows like the connection okay uh, like connection successfully but here we have not so after that the connection close and the old database uh, get uh, by using the uh, data set the proper give the uh, give the proper message that is message box dot show connection okay so my server name is the local db and ms sql local db the connection state is okay now the second thing we retrieve all the database name from the required uh, server so you can use uh, list box okay so you can use list box and each uh, column or you can say each uh, database name fetch from the data set and load into the database uh, into the list box so there is so you can use for each loop data row uh, from the database table sorry from the data uh, data set so item in the collection what the collection that is data set dot tables of zero because only one table uh, in the data set that is the database dot row uh, list view item that is item 1 because the above item is mentioned so item 1 new you can also um, use the naming convention like the list item ls item but here we uh, not preferred and uh, you can use anything because, uh, because uh, its video tutorial is used for the learning purpose only so item uh, list view item is item 0 dot to string the first item now after the first item is it trade all the columns of the data sets so item 1 dot sub item is also the uh, another tables in the, also the another database so sub items dot add item of i dot to swing okay now after that you can load the list view list box one dot items dot add one by one so there is item one dot text so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to windows form and i will provide you better video tutorial of windows form also so please subscribe my channel and like this video. If you like this video, please, please, please press the bell icon also. Thank you very much for watching this.